I know I talk too much at the beginning of these videos, but this part is really important. And I really want especially people who are like new to wearing their hair curly to listen to this. I've been wearing my hair curly for seven years. And when I first started the curly girl method, I was one of those people that like just flat ironed my hair every single day on the hottest setting. I probably barely used heat protectant spray. My hair was fried. I was box dyeing my hair. I would like bleach my hair and then dye it black. Like my hair was a mess. So I could wear my hair kind of curly if I got in the shower and like soaked my hair, went through the whole styling process and it would turn out okay. Like it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to look until my hair was a little bit healthier. So it took a couple of years of me like treating my hair really well and trimming my hair to be able to get the result that I wanted. There was no shampoo or conditioner in, you know, in the world that was going to make my hair look fantastic because it was fried. Um, but I could get a result that I liked and I made videos and I showed you my hair and you guys liked my hair and I thought it looked great. Anyway, I was trying to refresh my hair at that point with the damaged hair and it just didn't work that well. So if you try this or you've tried other refresh videos and it's not working for you at all, there's going to be trial and error like with products and things like that. But if it's not working at all, you just ask yourself, is my hair super damaged? Because if it is, this might not work for you until like further, further along in your like wearing your hair curly again journey. And that's okay. But try it. And eventually the goal is to have hair that's healthy enough that you can refresh it easier. But anyway, I'm going to get right to it. So this is super quick. So I wake up with my hair like this, right? Get dressed, throw on a shirt, put lipstick on or whatever. And uh, I'm going to refresh my hair. I usually do one of two things. You need to put some kind of moisture in your hair. So either water or water and some kind of a product with moisturizing agents in it. And then you need a styler. Okay? So I'm going to use like a leave-in conditioner spray today and gel. Sometimes I just use water and mousse. So if I'm really in a rush and I wake up and I take my hair out of the pineapple and it looks pretty good, I honestly, oh, it's actually not too bad, go over to the sink in the bathroom and put a little bit of water on my hands and I just like put the water on my hair like this <laughs> and then I, um, scrunch mousse in my hair. So I'll like pile this part up back on top of my head like this long, and I'll take like bigger than a golf ball, like not a tennis ball, not a golf ball, something in the middle. And I'll smooth it down here and then I'll do it again. I'll smooth it down here and then I take this part of my hair down and then I smooth it on here and then I scrunch it up and then that's it. I diffuse it or let my hair air dry. Um, and that's my refresh routine. But that one is like super quick, super easy. I don't have a whole lot of time. I'm going to show you something that's a little bit more involved today. If you watch somebody else do something similar than this, you will notice that they really section their hair a whole lot. If you have more time and more patience than I have, then sectioning your hair more is a great idea. I just don't do that in my real life. So I don't want to show you anything that is not real. And one more side note, because this video is going to be short anyway, a couple of comments on my last couple of videos, somebody said, Susie, how is it that you look younger than you did when you were making videos like almost two years ago? And I hate telling people this because I don't want you to think that I'm like promoting it or like I'm super vain or whatever. I don't even know why I'm making excuses, but I did get a little bit of Botox and I got it a couple of years ago and I got it again recently. I have a very good friend who is a surgeon who I work with and every once in a while, if he has like Botox that's not being used, that he paid for and he thinks he's not going to use it, he'll say to people that work in his clinic, hey, Suze, like, do you want a little bit of Botox? I'm like, oh yeah, if it's free. If it's free, take two. That's what my grandmother always said. So I did get a little bit in my forehead and uh, like where my crow's feet are. Um, and I really like the way it looks because I think I do look younger and I do look more awake. 
but I just, if it wore out and he never offered it to me again, I probably wouldn't get it because I think it's really expensive and I don't really mind aging. Um, like, I think it's normal to have wrinkles. So I'm gonna show you how I refresh my hair. I'm looking at my hair in the viewfinder and I'm thinking, man, my hair looks good for the next day. And I tried a new product. I had this uh, deep conditioner. It's silicone free and it's wax free. It says no sulfate, silicones, parabens or mineral oil. Um, and I used this hair mask since my last video and I'm really a big fan. Like I thought it was 10 out of 10. The next day after I used it, before I wet my hair again, my hair almost looked too moisturized. Like it was like heavy and weighed down. Um, but then since then it's been really great. And so this is like one of those things that if you wanna try something new, I recommend this. And I also recommend the hair cream and I will be purchasing it that again and I will show it in another video. Not sponsored, obviously. Um, and I love when I find like a new find that I really like. But anyway, so that's why my hair, I think, looks a little bit more moisturized. Other times, if I'm not con deep conditioning my hair, when I wake up in the morning to refresh my hair, my hair looks super dry. Um, and so if your hair is really dry, really stretched out, if it's like your day three and four hair, and you have that hair type like mine that's like not that curly, it might not be worth trying to refresh your hair. So this is what I do. I either take a spray leave-in conditioner or I take one that I concocted using that stinky um, Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner that I love, the one that smells like Play-Doh and nuts. Um, and I mix that probably like, I don't know, like a nickel sized amount in this little tiny water bottle because it's the only one that I had. You could take this or you could make a or take a pre-made uh, leave-in conditioning spray. So I'm going to take this top part of my hair, maybe the top two-thirds of my hair, and I'm going to pile it on top of my head with a big old clip. I'm going to shake up my little bottle and I just do a little spray, like two sprays. Like two sprays underneath, two sprays on top. And this mister, it's just a cheapy one, but it's like very misty. So it like covers a lot of area. If it's just coming out in a like a little pew pew, it's probably not gonna be that great. You want something that's very misty. Um, so I miss that. And then I take my BioTerra gel or any gel that you have. And I only use about this much. And that's for the whole bottom of my hair. When my hair is soaked in the shower, I use a ton of gel because the gel really gets diluted. Um, but if I was to try to use the same amount when I'm refreshing, it would be brutal. Mousse works really, really well too, guys. Like, don't be shy, don't be afraid to try mousse. So I just have gel on both my hands. I'm gonna take this whole section and go like this. Okay, and I still have a lot of gel on my hands. You can't really tell, but and I'm gonna do the same thing here kind of praying hands it. If you really wanted to, you could twist a couple of your curl clumps. If there's any parts of your hair that look really frizzy, I don't spend too much time, especially on the bottom layer, but you could do a couple little twists and then give it a little scrunch, okay? And then I take this down, and I'm gonna take the middle third of my hair Man, I love that leave-in conditioner. Can too, if you're watching this, send me from some free stuff and I will uh, make a video. I miss the outside and the underneath. And again, guys, I really, because I'm on YouTube, I really should be making a video where I like section my hair with a comb and like make sure that the product is ex like evenly distributed and, and all of that but I don't do any of that. So I can't show you guys stuff that I don't do. And if I had more time, and if I had more patience, I probably would do that. But I just don't, I just do this. The gel, and I'm just intuitively, I'm putting some on the back, and then same thing, doing this. Now, I know you can't see me running my hands down the very back of my hair, but my hair is parted in two sections. There's no hair back here. This is all my hair. Oh, um, that's, a, that's kind of like a nice 
thing to, to tell you guys, and I don't know if you know this, but when you see pictures of women on like, or men or whoever, on like Instagram or in YouTube videos, and you're like, oh my God, their hair is so full. Like, how do they do it? Nine out of 10 times, their hair is like parted like this, right? There's no hair in the back. So it obviously is going to look like twice as thick as if they were wearing it normally. Oh, anyway, I'm going to take this part down. And same thing, I'm just going to miss this on the top, a little bit underneath. Right? Gel. Oh, my battery's going to die. Same amount, not too much. And then I do that thing that's cliche that you're not supposed to do anymore. I don't think is I'm going to tip my head upside down and scrunch it. That's it. That's how I refresh my hair. If you are a little bit worried about how it's going to dry when it dries completely, you can diffuse it a little bit. Yeah. I just wanted to come on my camera and show um, everybody what my hair looks like, like after I was busy and running around and doing stuff outside towards the end of the day. Oh my God. Uh, if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, this one here was a, like a little tiny baby in my first video. And look how big he is. That's Wilson. And this is Hank. Um, anyway, this is what my hair looks like after, like, going for groceries, running around, cleaning up. <laughs> well, people that watch my channel all the time are going to be so pumped to see you and see how big you are. Oh my god, my camera's Willow. Oh! So anyways, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. You can give it a thumbs up if you liked it, or two thumbs up, and then two thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you very soon in my next video.